Oh, hi guys, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm April. I'm a cosmetic and skincare chemist. I talk about all things skincare, back end and front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in science based skincare, hit that like button for me, subscribe to this channel because you're all about skincare here. And we're here every week with a new video. So subscribe and join the family. All right, as you guys can tell from the title, we're going to be talking about alcohols and skincare today. Now, this is a very, very controversial topic. Some people like alcohol and skincare. Some people say alcohol doesn't bother them. Some people say alcohol is next to the devil in their skincare products. I'm not here to tell you whether or not to care about alcohol in your skincare, but I will tell you guys the good alcohols in skincare and the bad alcohols or alcohols you should look out for when it comes to your skincare products. All right. Let's get into the video. So there's three different types of alcohol in skincare. First alcohol is simple alcohol. That's easy, right? <laughs> Some of the alcohols in this category are ethanol and propanol. These alcohols are used for their antibacterial properties to help in healing the skin of bacteria, bad bacteria. And the next category of alcohols is fatty alcohol. These consist of cetyl alcohol, cetyl alcohol. These alcohols are actually used to keep the skin hydrated. They're actually oils with an which group on it so they're called alcohols but really they're oils so it makes sense right keeping the skin hydrated third group of alcohols is aromatic alcohols like benzoyl alcohol. These alcohols are used in skincare because they contain fragrance properties. These are some of the alcohols that are among the alcohols that bother a lot of consumers because these are the ones that could probably cause irritation on your skin, especially if you have really sensitive skin. Okay, now that you guys know the three categories of alcohols in skincare, let's talk about the bad and good alcohols in skincare. Some of the good alcohols are cetyl alcohol, sterile alcohol, lauryl alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, and Mysterial alcohol. Some of the bad alcohols are ethanol or SD40, denatured alcohol, same as ethanol, really, benzoyl alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. And these are just a few of the alcohols a lot of consumers find to be worrisome in their skincare products. Now, I do want to mention a lot of the times the alcohol content is not really what is the issue in products. A lot of the times consumers are actually reacting to the actual ingredients in the product. When it comes to skincare products that are in the form of a lotion or gel, to Typically, we don't put more than 5% alcohol in those products. At least in my office, we don't make any products that are more than 5% alcohol in the lab. The most we go up to is 10 to 15% in the lab. If anything goes above that 15% threshold, it has to be made in an aerosol room. So a room that has the tanks and the environment that's fit for that type of product. These products usually are aerosols, sea sprays, and this alcohol obviously has a higher flashing point where it can cause a burn. So it has to be made in a special room. Usually people are allergic or are reacting to a specific ingredient in the product. So make sure before you say alcohol is the issue that you're having in your skincare product that it's truly the alcohol other times it's the ingredient not the alcohol again alcohol usually is not above 5 to 15 percent in the lab where alcohol starts getting really high in products is when it's a sea spray or a, a spray form like your hand sanitizer sprays those have really high percent of alcohols up to 70 percent and those are made specifically in a specific room or environment for those type of products but yeah i hope this makes your understanding of alcohol and skincare a little bit better if you have any questions about any of the alcohol I mentioned or any questions about alcohol and skincare generally make sure to leave it down below I'd love to talk about it with you guys and conversate it really makes me happy talking about skincare with you guys so please definitely leave a comment below don't forget to like this video subscribe to this channel join the family we're growing so much you guys ah I can't believe it you guys are literally the reason why I you know when I come back from work and I'm so stressed out and tired and I know that I get to talk to you guys um, about you know what I love it just it brightens my day. So yeah, thank you guys for being here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.